With an international reputation for clean and green agriculture, our region is well positioned to deliver safe, premium food products to new and emerging international markets. There's a significant opportunity on our doorstep as the Asian middle class population accelerates and develops an appetite for high quality, safe food. As customer demand and their use of e-commerce platforms continues to grow, our logistics network capability will enable our region to deliver premium food products to the Asian consumer overnight. As Australia's leading agricultural sector in innovation and production, our region will also have the connectivity, research capability and know-how to grow this exciting opportunity. But how do we as individual businesses and as a region make the absolute most of these emerging opportunities? To ensure local food manufacturers and our region position themselves as leaders in this space, the Toowoomba and Surat Basin Enterprise, in partnership with the University of Southern Queensland, have joined together to form Food Leaders Australia. Food Leaders Australia provides us with that opportunity to bring together industry collaborators to focus around a single goal. The single goal of adding value to agricultural product in this region and to making sure that we're getting that value retained within the region as we export product into Asia. The Food Leaders Australia initiative was driven from industry, business and key stakeholders who were all very interested in the talk about the growing and emerging markets in Asia. But really we wanted to collaboratively put our minds to how could individual businesses really capitalise on those opportunities, but how could we also market this region as one of the leading regions in Australia for premium food production. Food Leaders Australia, FLA, will position Toowoomba and surrounding agricultural producing regions as a competitive and viable food producing hub and assist businesses to grow and find new ways of doing business to ensure future sustainability and profitability. It's about collective thinking and, and collaboration between food industries in an area and drawing on the, the required expertise from people that can supply R&D, people that can supply innovation in, in technology and, and other areas. Toowoomba is fast becoming uh, the east coast of Australia's supply and logistics hub for agricultural product. Toowoomba is one of Australia's largest inland cities, located an hour and a half from the port of Brisbane and with its own jet capable airport. This agricultural powerhouse is the commercial and economic capital of the Darling Downs and broader southern Queensland region. Toowoomba's perfectly positioned for, for a food industry collective. It comes down to having things such as R&D for smaller companies. As you see momentum grow around the food processing industry here in Toowoomba, I think that'll build its own momentum and, and attract investment and attract a lot more interest as it grows. I think the concept of Food Leaders Australia is going to be important to this region, working with the university, working with TISB, and working with those who actually produce the food. Food Leaders Australia is really a collaboration between researchers and industry. We're trying to connect the on-farm productivity of this region through the supply chain to the end consumer. It's about collaboration. I think it's about pooling our collective IP, our experience, our understanding and our knowledge. A key role of FLA will be pulling together existing services that can support individual businesses, but also identifying gaps. So it may be that your company needs assistance in a new product development. It may be that you need market intelligence. It may be that you need to identify some synergies from other regional businesses. I think that's a key role for FLA. Obviously we're not the only ones who realise Asia is a growing market. Uh, so I think access to those markets and also some help with the sales for a company like us is a, a real challenge. If we can all work together, that being government, our business and also the local producers to offer something that's attractive, something really special could come out of it. I think Food Leaders Australia initiative is, is the catalyst that we need in this region to be able to bring all the parties together to work collaboratively to be able to build on the brands that we have here and to really highlight the industry that we have here from an ag sector and to be able to promote that through Asia and beyond and really make this region the food export capital of Australia. The region has one of the richest and most diversified agricultural industries in Australia, producing large volumes of grains, livestock, cotton, meat, dairy and horticulture 
as well as a range of premium food and wine products. From a red meat perspective, uh, you've got beef sitting us here, you know, between us is over 2,000 head of cattle here. You've got John D at Warwick, uh, and granted you've got Stanbroke. Uh, this is a nucleus of beef processing in Queensland and one of our strengths is uh, the people we employ. Uh, we have a reputation worldwide for food safety being at the top of the ladder. The Darling Downs region has always had innovators within it. The opportunity of Food Leaders Australia is to harness that innovation to look at how we can do a better job of financing our system, reducing the investment hurdles and looking for those opportunities where we have products that we'll be able to market as a group, as a region, into Asia. Ability to grow world class beef and vegetables all from a single area. Uh, and by combining those products together on one plane, I think we can really offer something special to the Asian market. I think some of the biggest things we can offer is a really high quality product that's produced in a world class way and done at the safest possible standards. We see with the advent of the World Camp Airport and the fact that we now have a decent infrastructure in this region and the fact that we're 12 hours or less from some of those major Asian markets that we've got a lot of opportunity to be able to, to value add to our products here. With the food security issues, particularly in China, and the rising middle class that expect to be able to track their product from the farm to their plate, I think we're very well placed to be able to capitalise on that. We're surrounded by an enormous uh, production engine right around us that can produce just about anything you'd want. And then here we've got the people and the capability to convert that into things that people want to buy. Being an exporter is not good enough. Through long-standing investment in research and development and industry innovation, food and agricultural production is one of our region's most productive industries. However, to capture opportunities internationally, food producers have to be well and truly on the front foot, embrace innovation, and work together to achieve the global edge and remain competitive. I think it's about moving away from the commodity game. You know, we've got to be more, more niche market and, and value add our products more because there's a great demand for it, but why, why play in the commodity game and just export bulk wheat and bulk sorghum or whatever? Value add it more here in Australia into shelf-ready products and the like. Attracting people into the agricultural industry, uh, the young people, that's something that I think we have to do a lot better. We seem to uh, have people going to the cities. I don't think we promote well enough the opportunities that there are within our industries. It'll just take some right-minded people, have the right mindsets, who understand that the marketplace out there is so large that unless we actually are able to work together and deliver the volumes that will effectively service the market, we really aren't going to penetrate that market. Uh, the ability to continue to be cost effective and, and, and drive our uh, productivity up and that you know, transport and uh, logistics are a key component to that. FLA will capitalise on the opportunities emerging from Asia's increasing demand for food products by linking key stakeholders, forming business clusters, securing investment and maximising infrastructure to achieve efficiencies, innovation and international trade relationships. This collaboration will form the basis of our success going forward and give our region the strength to compete on the global stage. We all need to be continuing to look for opportunities in our business, what we can uh, do better. We also need to look at value adding. I think there's a lot of opportunities there to go to shelf ready product. Uh, instead of just looking at what we do on a daily basis now, we always have to be saying, is there something we can be doing better? The opportunity for this region to produce good quality food and export it to the world yeah, that opportunity is right there in front of us now. The opportunities out there are absolutely endless. If we're going to get to the point where we're serving those big markets with that scale, then we've got to keep developing that technology and gaining those efficiencies. If we can offer a high quality product at a price that's attractive, then we'll do well there. Food Leaders Australia will connect industry and researchers and pull together stakeholders across the region with a shared vision to ensure this food and ag powerhouse leads the nation in new and exciting opportunities in the Asian century. So our goal over the next three to five years will be to uh, provide targeted assistance to some of our food producing and food processing companies in the region to understand and capitalise on the emerging opportunities in Asia and the other markets. And I guess collectively to bring stakeholders, industry, researchers, 
um, individual businesses and regions in Australia together to make sure that we get the best benefit on the ground. Become a part of this initiative and help us to drive change and achieve a shared vision for food businesses across this great region. If you're interested in becoming involved with Food Leaders Australia, please contact the FLA team today at www.foodleadersaustralia.com.au